Hello everyone, welcome to the John Roberts Gaming Channel. This is John Roberts. You are watching Easy Attitudes Episode 2. This is a game where we had some interesting outcomes in the Pacific, something I'd never seen happen before. We'll see how this all works out for us. We're coming into round three with the Soviet Union. So, let's get into it. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoy. All right, land units, obviously. Maybe I get a tank. I'm liking the tank. All right. Two there and two there. And a fighter in each. He's got nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. 14, 15, 16, 17. That could hit West Russia. This is 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. We could hold that very nicely. All right. May the dice gods be with us. Oh no, come on. Come on. Don't do this. Don't do it. Uh, come on. There's a hit. There's a hit. Come on. Yes! Always get nervous when that happens. But it worked out. I love it when a plan comes together. So there is no any aircraft gun in there. So we'll put another one in there. We're going to put a unit in Kazakh and one in Novorosk and one in Novorosk. Doesn't really have any of his fighters uh, available to attack these uh, territories. Maybe we we'll put two in each. Maybe we we'll put two in each. We'll have to leave one in a Venki as well. Oh, hold on. So that means, hold on. We could leave one of you in Russia and do this. There we go, that's better. So then you four. What do we have here? Four, five, six, seven... 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. We need five more in there. That's good. Let's put a third one in Kazakh. That's very nice. I like that. All right, let's move on. Put the tank out of Moscow. And then four and three. I'll send it over to Germany. All right, Germany, what'd you do? Artillery and 13 infantry. Look, Ukraine, no units lost. Belarus, he, he lost the unit there. He failed to take the territory. And Northwest, he only lost one infantry, taking out 
those five units. That's unfortunate. Units in France, some units in Poland, a few units of Baltic states, three fighters in Karelia. Bomber in Germany and mobilized. See the situation in India. Nothing to be concerned about. Let's get seven units and a fighter. We'll upgrade one infantry for an artillery. This Egypt situation is kind of annoying. All right, here's what I want to do. Let's see if we can help take the Ukraine. Get rid of these units that are in uh, northeast. He's got an infantry. Uh, what is going on? Does have the artillery. Is happening. Thank you. Cancel it. At all in Northwest. Thank you. Glad that I could get that accomplished. All right, Burma. Let's go for it. And these two in 44 are going to go to 47. Hopefully it'll be too much for him to handle. That is the hope. All right. Dice gods. Ukraine's unlikely. I'm just trying to soften it up. Let's see. Oh, come on, Northwest Europe. Oh, come on. Come on with that. Okay. Okay, okay. Looks like this worked out. Not bad. Now for Ukraine, we just want to get rid of a unit or two. There's a hit. Press on. Oh well, I guess we should have retreated. But now we retreat. And we roll the dice with Burma. Come on. Let's see it. Miss. Miss. Oh, come on. Oh. Uh, we'll retreat from that. Unfortunate. All right, put it back, put it back. Everybody back, move everybody back. Fighters, move them back. Did I purchase a fighter? I did. West Russia, because we're still going to hold West Russia. 8, 9, 10, 
11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Yes, we are. Let's not forget this uh, transport. It's important. This infantry with it. Can we get these to season 47? That's also important. Artillery. Free infantry in India. The rest in UK. Let's see it, Japan. What did you do, Japan? What did you do? Two tanks, three infantry, two destroyers, two destroyers. That is excellent. It looks like he wiped out my fleet and he still purchased the two. Well, I guess he didn't know that he was going to wipe out my fleet. Hmm. He took a Venki. And then here, he destroyed an aircraft carrier, two destroyers, two subs, a battleship, a fighter, a cruiser, and lost a destroyer, a cruiser, and three fighters. Nice. And he didn't get Borneo back either, so he still has to wait to get Borneo back and New Guinea. This whole thing worked out very well. I'm very pleased with that. He landed a bomber in the Philippines. He's got a couple of units in Szechuan, a tank up in Xinjiang. Anway. And what did he do? took units from Manchuria and put them back in Japan. The only thing I could think of is he's going to take Alaska. Hmm. Or Hawaii. He's got two destroyers, so it's not like I could just purchase a sub. Where is this sub? Oh, this bomber. I mean, one, two, three, four, five, six. Hmm. We see the transport, two destroyers, two tanks, three infantry. Hmm. There is also a fighter. Oh, well, if I got a sub, then I'd only be getting one transport this round. We have four, five, six. So that would be seven. Get a tank and then an artillery. I think I like that. That should work. At least I hope this works. I guess you always hope everything works, right? So I want to take Finland, Norway. That's obvious. Like that. That works. 
Can't do much with this bomber. I want to bring it back to the United States. That might be all of my combat for the United States for this round. In fact, I think it is. So we'll move the aircraft carrier up there with the destroyer and the cruiser. He's got one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So, yeah, I'm going to land this fighter on the aircraft carrier. Is that overkill? I just don't want him going for the aircraft carrier. He could attack and try and get my aircraft carrier. What if I did this? Put this destroyer and this destroyer and put this aircraft carrier here. This fighter we could send this way and the bomber. Get the bomber up there. Move that AA back. I'm going to move one of these to central. And the rest go up to Canada. Don't forget to put the cruiser up here. This fighter can go to Western Russia. 9, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. We're still holding that. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Plus whatever else we put in there. All right. That's our U.S. round three. Let's uh, put some of these units out. Tanks going in Western. And the submarine. Put everything else in Eastern. No, we'll put one infantry in Western. And then we'll send it over to Soviet Union. Of course, we'll get land. Land units. So now, we have to take Ukraine. What if we did Ukraine like this? Hmm. Could have six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one. I'm just looking at these. You know what? We'll do this. Both the fighters can land back in Western and we can get these three infantry, hopefully. Because with the infantry and the tanks looming, I, I want to 
reduce his numbers. So I think we need to strafe something. This is the one that makes sense. All right, thanks, gods. I'm going to need you with me on this one. Let's go for it. Ukraine falls without a hitch. All right. May the dice gods be with us. Well, that's nice. He does hit two back, but that's... All right. Let's retreat. Into Novo. Right? In Novo, we'll have one, two, three, four, five. Four, five, six, seven. Mm. You know what? I think we have to retreat into Novo. Or maybe we just keep going. Maybe we take out the tank since we're gonna... Yeah, let's just keep going. Not bad. Not bad. We're gonna lose the tank. Hopefully it takes him something. To take that tank out. That is the hope. Get some units into West Russia. I'm going to block. Am I? I am not going to block West Russia. Uh, well, Belarus, I mean. I don't think there's much point. And we also have a submarine. Let's not forget the submarine. Get you into the Pacific. So what is this? 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Sounds good. Against 19. Let's mobilize. Put the artillery and caucuses. And then everything else. In Moscow. Let's see it, Germany. All right, let's review Germany's round four three artillery and nine infantry. Took Belarusia. It was undefended. All right. The defenders lost an infantry. Germany retreated to Libya with one tank and one bomber. The attacker lost two infantry. Delightful. This whole Libya thing is really starting to bother me, though, because it, you saw what happened. Use all sort. Ukraine. Lost no infantry there. Northwest Europe. 
Oh, he lost two infantry in Northwest Europe. That's not bad. And Archangel. We both lost an infantry there. He did not take it. I like that. So where did you uh, maneuver your troops? France. He likes to keep France defended. Corellia. He's holding that pretty well, actually. Three infantry to Baltic states, three infantry to Poland. The bomber in Libya. Mobilized out of Corellia and out of Germany. So the United Kingdom doesn't need another transport. There's no threat on India. So we don't have to worry about that. So six, seven, eight, nine. We'll get a tank. Artillery. We'll save two IPCs. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six. It's got nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Six, seven, eight. No, no, no. Just take northeast. Or maybe. Maybe we could take northeast and Baltic states. Three, four, five fighters and the bomber. So that's six. One, two, three, four, five. Six. We can move there, and then we can move the, uh, the aircraft carrier. Mm. We could land a fighter there. Season three needs. Uh, uh, last round, I bought a sub the United States and I really could have used a destroyer here in season 11. All right, we're going to have to do it that way. We are going to have to take this risk. Just like that. Cruise a shot to Baltic states. Send the fighter. We'll send this fighter there. And then these two fighters. Come on. We can go one, two, three, four into West Russia. So that works. Let's put two infantry there. We definitely want to take Burma. Uh, I think that's it. I think that's all I could see. Okay. I really wish I could use this infantry if there was even one unit less in Ukraine. But alas, there is not. Let's see it. It thanks God to be with us. Not a single loss in Baltic states. I'm happy about that. Let's see Northwest. Oh, 
Oh, we're running clean so far. One more. Ooh, it's a clean sweep. An immaculate round. Alright, land these two fighters in C-Zone 5. Land these two fighters in West Russia. Put an infantry up in West Russia. Hmm. Land this fighter in Persia. Oh, I guess we need another infantry that way. Let's put the tank in Persia. And that infantry. And that artillery. We don't need anything to defend uh, India this round. In fact, I'll pull this tank out. And now what's he going to do? Now what are you going to do? You're going to attack my one artillery and then lose your tank? And not be able to land your bomber there? Huh? Is that what you're going to do? Put the naval units there. Bring these two units to Finland. Let's see, if I put those two in Finland, then I put another two in Finland. That's five. Plus eight is 13. Do I want to have 13 units there? I might. I might. You know what? I do. I want to have 13 units there. I know it's not exactly enough to hold against this stack in Curlia, but if he goes for it, I think it makes victory easier for me. If you ask my opinion of that. All right, boys and girls, I think that's it. I think that is it. Let's mobilize. Tank in India. The artillery in the UK. Two more infantry in India. The remaining five in the UK. And we will send it over to Japan. Japan, Japan on round four. What happened? A fighter, two tanks, an artillery, and three infantry. You got Borneo back. You got a Venki. No Versaverse, that is nice. He lost an infantry and a tank. I lost one infantry. I like that. Kazakh, no units lost in Kazakh. And Burma, no units lost in Burma. Unfortunate. It's always nice to get those little hitbacks. It really makes a difference in the game. There's Szechuan. I put an infantry in Sinkiang. Three infantry in Anwei. Put the battleship in Season 61. Put an aircraft carrier in C Zone 60. An aircraft carrier and two fighters in 36. Unfortunate that we cannot reach that. Unfortunate. Yunnan with the transports. And then he mobilized. He put two tanks in Guangdong. Put the two infantry and the artillery in Manchuria. I kind of think that's a mistake. I, I guess the tanks in Quang Tung can reach uh, Kazakh, but now you have these land units that take an extra turn to get there. I don't know. I'd put the tanks in Manchuria. I know you've seen me in my videos. I like almost always put the tanks in Manchuria. 
the slower moving units I put in Quangtong. I, I wouldn't even have. I never do this industrial complex in Quangtong thing. Never really saw the point. You could have transports instead, but okay. An infantry in Japan, a fighter in C Zone 60. USA has 46 to spend. And we got 1, 2, 6, 7 transports. What if we got an industrial complex and one transport? That is enough for 8 land units. And I like it. Let's go with that. Are we going to need more naval units? I don't think so. Doesn't look like he's going to bring any Japanese aircraft. And he's only got the five German aircraft. Well, he's got six aircraft, but one of them is out of position. I think we'll be okay. We have this extra aircraft carrier that's not really doing much probably put it in Season 5, and we can land fighters on it if we really need to. Though the U.S. really is lacking in fighters. There's this one fighter that we might not need there anymore. Yeah, we could pull this fighter out, but it still can only make it to Greenland. We have one fighter in West Russia. 9, 10, 11, 12, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. So I think we can handle 26 there. We might not need the fighter. Hmm. All right, I think that's a good buy. So now what is the United States going to assault? They might not really assault anything. Which is not the worst thing ever. The United States just taking a non-combat move to just land units it means that you're doing something right usually man we don't even have a bomber somewhere to make some kind of attack or assault or something somewhere hmm 8, 9, 10, 11 one, two, three, four, five, six. No. No, let's just uh, skip combat move. We'll put all these units into Finland. As many as we can get there. The aircraft carrier in C-Zone 5. Do we want to put the fighter there? I might just leave the fighter in West Russia. Might actually be more useful there right now. Let's see. Something like that. Put this sub in 53. This bomber can make it to UK. I think we're looking good. I think I like that. Let's mobilize some units. 
the industrial complex goes in Finland. A new transport, C Zone 11, the 8 Infantry. We'll send it over to Soviet Union. <laughs> 